Good afternoon everybody, CV here. Um, you can see I've got a, a canvas that I have used before and as soon as I finished this painting I scraped it off because I just didn't like it. So today I've been inspired by Jilly Cube and um, I'm just going to do like a, a half black, half white and then some puddles and just blow and have some fun. I haven't done a painting for a little while so I'm looking forward to it very much. So I'll get organised. First thing I'm going to do is um, put some white on. Oh, I don't like the look of that. That's a bit lumpy, isn't it? <laughs> Might just scrape some of that off. Must have been a few hard little blobs stuck in the um, in the nozzle, possibly. So um, I just need it fairly runny, fairly well covered because it ha is going over something I've scraped off before. Right, let's see how that goes. I'm just spread this over. Is that recording? Yes, it's recording. Those little lumps out of there. This is some paint I've had previously mixed up that I just don't want to waste. So I'm just going to use some leftover paints. I'm doing mine from corner to corner, more white than black. I'll just make sure, run around the edges with my fingers. Probably do another coating on the sides. Okay. Oh, right, and here we go with the black. My um, pouring pouring medium has been one I've made myself. Um, if you'd like that, just please look down into the um, description box. It will be in there for you to to copy and use if you'd like to. That's one I use a lot for a lot of my acrylic fluid pores. Just need a little more on this side. Pour it down the back so it can run over the edge. That's quite nice. Just going to pour some more white over here, over this edge. I'm going to be doing a bit of a Dutch pour blowout, so um, yeah, you'll see in a moment. 
Next, I'm going to just pour some puddles along that variegated line there. Um, but first of all, one of the colours I'm going to use um, is silver. And I've got some silver mixed up here. But I want to add an activator for some cells. So I'm going to place in it some, some silicon oil. Okay. Um, I'm just going to add in a few drops. I'll just do that where I can place the cup down. Right. And I'm hoping for fairly large cells. So I'm only going to mix it a couple of times. There we are. That's that one done. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Just a nice... Um, aqua colour there. Um, you can use any paints to make the whatever you've got will work. Purple bit of silver hope everyone's having a super day I'm having a great day I've been trying to come out into my art cottage every day gosh makes me feel good having a lovely time Okay, the next one I've got is a pink. It's a, more of a rose pink. Um, I don't know, a bit of purple in it. It's a purple base one anyway. Just, I'm not choosing any in particular. Just whatever ones I want to put the pink into. There we are. And I'm going to put a bit of white in. Also, I've got some leftover beautiful colour I made the other day, and it's um, a blue, a dark navy blue with an aqua, and I just want to use some of this because I was so thrilled with the colour. I hope you're going well with the school holidays up in Queensland. The Tasmanian children go on school holidays this Friday, so um, the September holidays, that is. So I hope they, you're having a great time. The parents are surviving it. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm not going to put that on that edge there, on that one. And this one, I'm going to put it on this edge here. Right, a little bit more silver. Don't forget, this is the one with the cell activator in. So what cell activator does is it, it's going to, it deposits droplets of oil. So those droplets of oil become like little cells open up and allow the colour underneath to shine through in the cell itself or the lacing which is rather nice. Okay. I think I might have finished. Really didn't want that to do that, so I'll just scrape that bit off. And pop some more white on there. Right, now I'll get my hair dryer.
Actually, I might burst the bubbles first. Just got my heat gun here. Just bursting some of those bubbles without moving the paint. Okay. I don't think it'd be strong enough to blow it. I might just try. If it is, then I won't have to try and find my hair dryer. So here we go. one I need to put some more silver in this one just a bit on the pink there on that pink there too can you see what's happening here look at this look at that beautiful cell structure and lacing that's happening Wow, what do you think? That's quite spectacular, isn't it? Love it. So easy to do. So simple to do. You can look, if you have a look here, you can see how it creates those cells. And, you know, 
it's just so delightful to look at because see how the, the pinks come through there, the blues come through that cell, the blacks come through here. It's just gorgeous. We've got lace in happening where it looks like lace. I mean, the paint's quite thick, so it'll take a while to dry, but I'll just let it dry slowly. I've got a little bit here that I have to blow that I missed. And looking at this, I just need a little bit more coming through here so I'm just going to add a touch more silver here on that purple and just on that pink and a little bit more of the aqua I think oh why not I'll put a bit more of the my combination of aqua and dark blue on here too with another little blob of silver. Um, if you're worried about how much paint you're using, so long as the consistency of paint is all at the same consistency, um, it dries, it'll dry at the same time. So hopefully I've got it right. Oh, I like that. Yes, that's nice. Just a bit much in here. I just have to remove some paint. Just let that go over the edge. You'll see here I dropped another blob of paint, so I'm just going to remove that. I think I've actually got enough paint on there to... Um, I'll just scrape some up that's just on the, on, the, on the table here that I've used. There, I'm going to bring you down to show you this now. I'll just get the um, blowtorch and um, go over it now. I blow torch and it will get rid of air bubbles, but it'll also bring up more cell structure and um, lacing on the painting. I mean, and that's from just putting the oil in one colour, which was the silver. I didn't use it on any of the others. Want to get too close I don't want to burn the paint I'm going to bring you down for a close-up now. This is the painting. It looks amazing. I'll just take you over it slowly so that you can just see the 
cell formations. What a wonderful, fun, quick little project that was. I so enjoyed it. You can see how the silver has gone over onto the black, which has made it interesting. Look at those ones there floating down. Isn't that attractive? I look at paintings and I can see, I can see faces. Can you see that ghost there? I can see animals. Tell me what you can see in here. I can see a fish there. Shells, I can see a shell. What's that? It looks like an otter. Anyway, this will continue to process and more cell formation will come through. So we'll just leave it and we'll come back shortly. Longwise, and I showed you it horizontally. Oh, I kind of like it this way with the, the black at the bottom and the white at the top. And it's almost like trees coming through, like a tree of life with roots coming through to the bottom. Um, we'll come back and see in a moment.